Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So first of all, my bedding is off of my bed because my mom is washing it and part of my bedding is down there. So excuse that. So technically it's Vlogmas day 16, but I'm not gonna be doing a vlog today because I wasted half my day on sleeping. So I didn't really get up and around and I haven't really done much interesting things. I just um, went to the post office and I got this package this package i'm gonna be opening it and we're gonna be doing like a review and stuff like that that's gonna be fun my mom drove to the post office we got my package and i drove from the post office to the gas station to get this iced coffee we got some other stuff too then i drove home so i feel pretty cool not gonna lie anyway i'm gonna be opening this package uh but basically this company wanted to send me some things i said yes of course and I'm gonna be unboxing it. So they let me pick out two eyeshadow palettes and two lip products, I believe. Also, I just wanted to mention, I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm not looking that great right now because I took a shower right before we went to the post office office and stuff i didn't want to get ready because i knew i was getting makeup and like i'm gonna straighten my hair before we actually get into the review and stuff like i'm gonna look better before we get into the review but i really just wanted to open this up already because i'm so excited so let's see that okay it comes like this and which is really nice because i think this came all the way from korea so it, they don't want to like break it you know Ooh, it looks like they included like some extra stuff maybe it comes in this nice stuff and you just pull it out so i'm just gonna start with the first thing and i don't think i picked this out but this is a lip product not exactly sure what this is but we'll have to see Ooh, and it looks like their stuff is cruelty free too so if you're cruelty free then but this is really nice packaging but this is a lip product and it's in the shade 07 chestnut by the way this is by the brand focaler focaler that sounded so much easier to say in my head but that's what it is Ooh, this is a pretty shade it's a matte liquid lipstick so let's go ahead and swatch it Ooh, that's pretty that's pigmented too okay wow that's so beautiful that's what that looks like that looks like it's gonna be so pretty oh my gosh i'm so excited to try this out on my lips with a nice look i don't think i picked that out and i don't think i picked this out either yeah i definitely didn't pick this out but they decided to send this to me as well but this is just a brow product it says it's a brow pen and it's in the shade 04 dark brown hopefully it matches me i'm not exactly sure if it will but the packaging is so cool like their packaging so far is really nice it says it's called the auto brow pen so that is what the packaging looks like on the outside it's really nice it just says the shade right up there. Also, I'm not really like energetic right now because the coffee hasn't kicked in yet, but hopefully it'll kick in sometime before this video ends. Okay, so this is what the brow pen looks like. This is really nice packaging. Like I'm really impressed by the packaging so far. It's like a matte color and a matte color. Yeah, I guess that works. This is what the brow pencil looks like. Hopefully it'll work well. It's like a rectangle it was not focusing that is that side and then the other side is a spoolie which is really nice it's a nice regular spoolie and then i think these are two lip products oh these are like heavy i don't know how to pronounce it but it's in the shade v04 um zinnaber i'm really not sure but it looks like it's gonna be like a pretty orangey kind of corally type shade Ooh, this feels so nice like this feels really high end but that's what it looks like it's a really pretty shade Ooh, that is creamy and so pigmented. Okay, this is a long lasting and ultra matte liquid lip stain. Okay, that's a really pretty orangey shade. And then we have another one, and this is in the shade Bean Paste. Kind of a fun name, I guess. But I'm pretty sure I picked these two out, so like hopefully they're good shades. I can't remember picking them out because it was kind of a while ago. It's in the shade V06 Bean Paste, like I said. It's the same type of packaging. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. That's what this one looks like. And the shade is on the bottom. And it's like a berry type pinky shade. Ooh. So it is that one right there. More of a brighter version of this one, it looks like. And now we have two eyeshadow palettes, which I'm super excited for. I picked these two out. Can't remember what they look like, but we will have to see. I like how everything comes in like this plastic wrap. I don't know, it just seems more nice, I guess. And then the packaging doesn't get messed up, so that's good. This outer packaging is so cute. Like, look how cute that is the back looks like it's a 12 color palette and it's called so hot 
It's in like the So Hot collection, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. Oh my gosh, all of the packaging is so nice. And this is what it looks like. The packaging feels really nice, actually. Ooh, these are so pretty. The funny thing is, is in person, it looks so much better than it does online. Like online, they look like okay. And then you get them in person and, and everything looks so nice. Oh my gosh, I want to swatch this. Oh, I was not expecting that. That is so pigmented. I want to swatch this blue shade. For sure, not what I was expecting. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this coral shade. These are own. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay, I'm so excited to use this. This next palette, I'm pretty sure it reminded me of the Huda Beauty palette. This is called We Care Your Favors. It's an 18 shade full function palette. We'll have to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the outer packaging. That's the name of the palette. And then it shows what the palette is going to look like on the back. And it comes in that same black packaging and then ooh, this is ooh, this is pretty this is what the actual packaging looks like it's like a nice rose gold color foil thing this is so pretty and it comes with a mirror on the inside wait does the other one yeah both of them come with a nice mirror inside that is so handy this is what it looks like it is so pretty with this pink shade right here Oh, that is pigmented. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try everything out. I am going to take off these swatches. Then I'm going to straighten my hair and make my look myself look a little bit better. I might either straighten my hair or like curl my hair. Yeah, anyway, I'll be back and we will do the try on portion and the testing out. Yeah, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, update. Um, I got some bedding on. I curled my hair actually and I like never curl my hair anymore and it's been a long time but I used that same wand that I did in my getting the Christmas spirit video the octo wand but I just used like this head so it wasn't like as crazy as the uh, as the curls that I did in the video because that was interesting but let's go ahead and get on to testing out the makeup because I'm so excited since this video is going to be solely based on I don't know if that's the right word to use but since it's going to be based on this company this isn't sponsored by the way I'm giving my honest opinion but they just wanted to send me these and so I'm making a video dedicated to this to the, dedicated to their stuff but anyways basically since this video is solely based on their stuff I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you the products that I'm using that was theirs So I'm not gonna like go through my makeup routine and tell you like the stuff that I'm using that I would usually use I don't know if this is making any sense But I'm basically just gonna be showing you guys when I'm using their products if that makes any sense I'm not forced to do that I'm just doing that just for the sake of the video since I'm using their products and they sent them to me So anyway, let's go ahead and get started first. I am going to do my eyebrows i'm going to use this brow pencil that i mentioned earlier again it's in the shade 04 dark brown not sure if it's gonna uh work for my brows but we will have to see so the pencil i it's hard to like focus it there now you can see it better but it's like a oval type thing oh okay so it made a really nice tail also, keep in mind, I don't do my brows often, so like kind of rusty at doing them, but this seems to be working really well. Okay, I just did that brow so quickly. That worked really well, and it also matches my hair, and I'm really surprised. That was literally so easy and I just did both of them and they don't even look that bad. Okay, I love how that looks and that was so simple and easy and it matches my hair. Well, anyway, moving on, I'm going to do eyeshadow and I'm not sure what look I'm going to go for, but I'm first going to like prime my eyelids and I'll be back. All right, it kind of looks scary now, but it's okay. I just swatched this um, purple shade. It's called Platinum Crystal. That's such a pretty shade name. And I don't have a color anything like that. That is so pretty. And I really want to use it. But it doesn't really match any of the lip products that I got. But like that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I feel like I want to do something kind of like berry-ish. I think what I'm going to do is I want to use 
this shade on my lid garnet because it is beautiful and so i think i'm just gonna do like these types of tones um anyway let's go ahead and actually get started with the look all my brushes are pretty dirty we can work with it first going to start out with just a nice transition shade so i'm going to use salmon right here looks like that also my mirror is kind of in the way Okay, so that took like no effort whatsoever. I'm now going to go in with this palette again and use the next shade over this one. It's called Indian Red. I actually love how these have shade names. It just makes things so much easier to explain. Put that in my crease area. I'm noticing that these are really pigmented. Like, I mean, they're not so pigmented that it's hard to work with, but they are really pigmented and so easy to blend. Okay, I'm actually so surprised. I wasn't expecting to like these palettes this much. Okay, then I'm just going to go back in with the first shade. Just kind of blend it out again. Next, I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to go in with like a darker one of those type of shades this one right here it's really similar to this shade in this palette called wine so if you only want to get one palette if you just want to get this one you can definitely just use that shade but for the purpose of the video since i have both i'm just going to go ahead and take the one in here so i want to try out both palettes but i'm just going to take this on my outer corner and work it into the crease Okay, that, again, really easy to blend out. And now I'm just going to take an even darker shade. I'm going to go back into this palette and take the shade called Toffee right there. And take a smaller brush again. Also dirty. And I'm putting this kind of where I put the last shade, but like on the very outer corner. And again, I'm going back in with the first shade that we took, Salmon, blending everything out again. I'm also going to take some of the second shade we took, Indian Red, and blend that as well. I'm really liking how this is turning it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease so we can use this shade. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I cut my crease. I just did a simple half cut crease. So I'm going to use that shade that I was talking about called Garnet it's so pretty i'm just gonna put that on top of my lid i'm gonna start by not spraying the brush and seeing how that works that works actually really good so i'm actually going to spray the brush just to give it a little extra pigment even though it's still really good without it i'm just spraying it with a little bit of water That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right, that is the pink on. It is gorgeous. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Now I'm going to go back into just this. Uh, what color did I use? This shade, Rufus and kind of just blend the pink and that color together i'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner and lashes and i'm going to do my face and then i will get back with you so we can do lips okay so my mom is now vacuuming so i'm really sorry about that and she didn't shut my closet door that vacuum is so annoying but it's okay so um i swatched all three of the liquid lipsticks and that's what they look like all of them would actually go with it but i think the one that i'm gonna do is this one because it's just more muted um and the most nude all, out of all of them this is the one that it is it's in this type of packaging and that's what it looks like 07 chestnut so i'm gonna go ahead and put that on and this is what the applicator looks like that's what the applicator looks like on all of them and it doesn't have a crazy smell it has a little bit of a smell like cookies a little bit and it reminds me of like the Bare Minerals Gen Nude lipstick, liquid lipsticks. Oh, 
Okay, that is so pretty. Since it is a liquid lipstick and it's supposed to be matte, I'm guessing it's just gonna dry down. But I really like how it goes with the look. It's like monochromatic. So I love everything that they sent me and I am so grateful for them sending it to me. I I just love everything that I got. Um, The eyeshadow is just so good. Like these are really good and i was not expecting that if i'm being completely honest i was not expecting them to be this good and i was expecting it to like not be that pigmented and not be so creamy but it's really good like i'm not even just saying that because they sent them to me and i wouldn't do that to you guys like i wouldn't tell you that it's good and it's not because i don't want you guys to waste your money if it's not good you know the eyeshadows were so pigmented the packaging is so nice i love this type of packaging where it's just kind of like magnetic and it just folds up i love it and the liquid lipstick is drying down matte by the way also notice that i didn't have to dip in twice to get it on my lips yeah anyway i am so happy with everything that i got again thank you so much for focaler i feel like i'm saying it wrong for sending them over to me i'm so happy with everything and so i would recommend everything that i got and i'm guessing that if these eyeshadow palettes are good i'm guessing that all the other ones are good and i'm pretty sure that they are giving a discount code and i don't have it yet but when i do get it i will put it in the description so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to comment like subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye